In this lecture, we will focus on coral reef ecosystems, beginning with some very basic questions such as what is a coral reef? We will then explore the different types of reef systems and we'll take on board a series of definitions that are associated with the different types of coral reefs. This will lead to a discussion uh, about the distribution and abundance of coral, particularly the physical and chemical variables that determine where carbonate coral reefs flourish. You will learn as part of this that there's a great variety of coral reefs, from those that are growing at the limits of light penetration to those that have adapted to live in the warm, shallow and highly sunlit waters of the tropics. This information will allow you to address the goals of being able to describe the factors which drive the distribution and abundance of healthy coral reef ecosystems. Let's begin with the first question. What is a coral reef? In the broadest definition, coral reefs are benthic ecosystems that are typified by a dominance of scleractinian corals. As we will develop later, there are two major types of coral reef communities. Firstly, there are reefs where calcium carbonate has built up over time to create reefs and islands like the one here on Heron Island on the southern Great Barrier Reef. Reef building corals belong to the order Scleractinia within the class Anthozoa. The corals we're referring to here belong to the simplest multicellular phylum of the animal kingdom the Cnidaria. As you know from previous lectures, the class Anthozoa includes organisms such as sea anemones, sea fans and corals. Here is a cross-section of a polyp. The gastrovascular cavity is lined with a digestive tissue known as gastrodermis, which is one of only two tissues that are typical of these simple organisms. The other tissue is the ectodermis, which covers the external surface of the polyp. There is a single opening which functions as both a mouth and an anus into that, ca that cavity. When the polyps are feeding, they capture particles using their tentacles and pass them to the gastrovascular cavity through the oral opening where they're digested and de absorbed by the gastrodermis. These animals have a variety of growth forms with the polyp being the most widely found structure. Polyps have a very simple body plan with a ring of tentacles in multiples of six or eight around the mouth. Now within the tissues of corals, there is a little bit of magic and this takes the form of tiny single-celled algae known as dinoflagellates. These tiny separate organisms live inside the cells of the gastrodermis where they're able to trap sunlight and provide their animal hosts with abundant photosynthetic energy. We are going to come back to this amazing mutualistic symbiosis later in this lecture. Now take a break and familiarise yourself with the differences between the two coral-like organisms, the hexacoralia and the octocoralia. When you feel you've mastered this difference, begin with the next section of this lecture. <laughs> 